division, hunters remain the most lethal killing machines. Even though much about the hunters are still a mystery, their fury needs no introduction. They are swift and cunning, able to make short work of their prey. By the time they make their presence known, they've already caused significant damage. Or worse, it would have already been too late. Agent, the transmission was made to help you tap into your inner hunter. Make your enemies cower as they bleed while you feed off their fear. Are you ready to hunt, Agent? To become a hunter, one must understand the hunter's fury. The weapons of choice are submachine guns and shotguns for increased damage output. The more you kill, the stronger you become, giving you armor and health on kill. The Hunter's Fury gives you the ability of an Apex Predator, quickly dispatching your enemies in seconds when you attack within 15 meters, making you hit horror as well as demoralizing nearby enemies as they see their brethren being slaughtered in front of their eyes, disorienting them in confusion and chaos. Seeing as how this affects enemies within 15 meters, a perfect chess piece would be the exotic Ridgeway's Pride, giving you the talent Bleeding Edge, which applies bleed to targets within, you guessed it, 15 meters. As a Hunter's Fury gear set makes you stronger offensively and defensively, Bleeding Edge also does the same by weakening enemies with bleeding status, as well as repairing armor per number of bleeding enemies per second. This opens up possibilities for the next pieces in this build. As you apply debuffs and bleed status to your enemies, using a weapon with a talent Sadist increases damage to bleeding enemies by 20%. And this is where things get more interesting. The backpack options can be chosen according to your playstyle or adjusted to your needs depending on the situation. I recommend the courier backpack with a talent Perfect Creeping Death. This effect applies to debuffs, disorientation, and everything else such as riot foams, but most importantly, to the effect of Bleeding Edge, spreading the bleed to all enemies within 10 meters, giving you more damage opportunities for sadists and more armor repair per second on top of armor and health on kill. This is crucial considering this build is a full red core build, so if you're not careful, enemies could quickly get the best of you. If this backpack isn't your style, my second recommendation complements the theme of bleeding enemies using a backpack with a bloodsucker talent, no pun intended, giving you bonus armor for better survivability to continue your bloody rampage. With this understanding of the hunter's fury, you may also apply a combination of an intimidate chest piece and adrenaline backpack, or an obliterate chest piece and memento backpack combo. The choice is yours. Happy hunting, agent.